Hey everybody. So I wanted to do this tutorial and talk about my helmets. I've received so many DMs, so many comments, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So I figured that I'll just go ahead and make like a little tutorial. Things that I've used, uh, what to do, what not to do. Everybody has their own method and what they use when they bedazzle things. Um, pretty much can bedazzle anything. Cups, helmets, clothes, whatever you want. I really was digging this helmet look with doing bedazzling. So yeah, I guess let's get into it. Okay, so I will have my phone with me because I did put down a bunch of things that I wanted to talk about. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the glue that I use. The glue that I use for my helmet is super tight. Yeah, super tight. So what I do is I get one of these little bottles. You see it has like a, a little needle on it and it's very tiny. I pour it in here and I can get more of like a precise, you know, area where I work and it's easier. It's not too much coming out and it's not too little. So it's like perfect, perfect. And you can actually buy these at Michael's. I've seen them at Michael's and also Amazon. This is where I got this one at was Amazon. But Michael's does have them as well. And I'm sure if Michael's have them, that means Hobby Lobby has them. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, the pen. So this pen, honestly, it's a rhinestone pen. Um, I've seen these at Hobby Lobby as well as Michael's. And it's just easier with the wax part to pick up the rhinestones. I just go like this and boop, that's it. I put the glue on the helmet, of course, and then I get the rhinestone and then I just pop it in there. Super easy, anybody can do it. This takes a lot of time, so that's another thing. If you got the time for it, the patience for it, I, I love it. Um, I do it in my spare time when I'm not doing anything. So yeah, it, that's pretty much it. I get like a little condiment um, bowl and I put my little rhinestones in it. They also have little separators for the rhinestones that you can put in and just pick up as you go. But I figured I had it in my kitchen, why not? Another thing that I kind of wanted to point out to people that I really didn't know much about when I started, I did this, ooh, I don't know, a few years back. And as you can tell, let me move this out of the way. I got both of them here. As you can tell, one of them, you see how that one shines? Just shines so much better than the other one. So, difference this is acrylic rhinestones and this is glass um the one thing that i was afraid about using glass was is it going to be heavier is my head going to be like super heavy where i can't um lift it up when i'm riding and it's not you can tell a little bit that it's has a little bit more weight to it but it's not that bad not that bad at all um so yes Rhinestones come in different sizes. Let's see what I have here. You got the SS3, SS6, SS20, SS10, SS30, SS16. I guess it all depends on your preference or the project that you're going to be doing. So I use SS3, SS6, SS10, SS20, SS30, and some SS16. I'm not sure of like how the size like millimeter wise it is, but I'll go ahead and I'll throw something in the video to compare the sizes and I'll write them down for you guys so you can see the differences and a little bit of a visual. So I'm a visual person, so I like to see things, you know, oh, okay, this works, okay. I'll put like a penny next to it or a dime so you guys can actually see how tiny it is or, you know, the actual size of it. So these are the sizes, SS3, SS6, SS10, and SS20. But these are just the ones that I have on hand because I kind of ran out of the SS30, which is the largest one. But as you can see, they're they're tiny. Um, Let me see here. Also, another thing is the color 
that you have underneath the project that you're doing. So this helmet is already white. So that's why I kind of went with doing a mixture of things. You won't tell that much if like you're using different rhinestone colors that underneath here is white. Now, if I did have a black color underneath here and I go ahead and I throw a clear rhinestone on it, you're gonna tell because even though that it looks like I don't have spaces in between, the spaces are super, 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 super tiny and you can barely tell. But if you have a different color under here, then yeah, you would tell big time. Um, this helmet is actually pink. So there's some places that you can see that it's pink, but not as much as if it's, you know, a, a more of a crazy color. So that's why when I'm doing helmets, I try to stick with the color scheme that I wanna do. So like, I knew I was gonna do these clear and throw a little bit of color on one side, so it wouldn't be that noticeable if I tried a different color underneath, meaning a different color helmet and put crazy colors. So um, yeah, think about the color scheme when you're doing whatever project you're gonna do and go with it. And sometimes even with other projects, you can paint it, paint it to whatever color you want, depending on what you're using. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the helmets every helmet is different so with some helmets you'll have more of like ridges indentation and sometimes it's really 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 hard to get rhinestones in those little crevices that's why i bought so many different sizes and it helped it helped a lot tremendously the size ss3 for the rhinestone helped me out a lot because those were able to get into places that i couldn't get with the other rhinestones and they're super 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 tiny whatever you do whatever you guys do if you guys have to order the glue or whatever please don't use super glue like just don't do it <laughs> i did a lot of trial and error on different things to use the super glue, what it did, um, it kind of ate the bottom of the, the rhinestone. So it didn't really look too great. Um, I knew not to do it with the glass. So I'm sure if it did it with the acrylic, as you, let me see if I can show you guys. If you can see it, it's kind of eaten the bottom of the rhinestone. Well, yeah, well, that, that's what it'll do. It'll just end up eating the bottom of the, the rhinestone and um, you will see through it. So you don't really wanna use super glue at all. So please don't use super glue. Um, I have heard other people use different glues, but what works best for me was this, super tight. It's amazing. Um, like I said, Hobby Lobby has um, Michaels. I did not find them at Michaels. So that's why I went to Hobby Lobby to find them. Um, but Amazon definitely has them. So another thing that I wanted to talk about was where do you get the rhinestones? So you can go on Amazon and you can find uh, the rhinestones, the glass rhinestones. They're a little bit more expensive but it's totally worth it at the end because you know why not <laughs> helmet looks amazing that's it that's everything you needed to know the wax pen that i used the rhinestones the different kind of rhinestones that i've used a little bit about the rhinestones and you know when you're placing it on items um or projects whatever you're gonna do with them uh yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't have that much. It's super simple. And if you guys do end up doing a helmet, I want to see your helmets. I want to see how creative you guys are and how awesome they're going to look because anything that's bedazzled is like amazing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions at all, you can leave me a message down below in youtube or you can find me on instagram it's mz underscore gsxr 305 
and send me a DM. I'll be more than happy to help you out with whatever you guys need or have questions about. I can try to help you out or point you to the right direction. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.